Good morning everyone. Hi. This is day four of uh, us prepping the trailer. Yesterday we took a day off because we were absolutely exhausted and we still are so today we're gonna take it easy. Uh, we got just a couple of light things to do. Uh, which no I'm more going cleaning to... today. No more cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to show you more or less what we're going to be tackling today. So we got some uh, dispensers, some signs, some stickers, the small dispensers here uh, from our previous restaurant. So we're going to put those up and then I'm going to uh, use some cork and rivet gun to seal all the ceilings. Uh, this is the worst part out of all of it, but I definitely want to go, go around and seal everything just for the peace of mind. We're going to repeat the same steps outside, but not today. We're going to do it uh, right before we're going to paint it over. This is just to make sure everything's sealed and waterproof. Apologies for the noise today. This fan is really loud, but at the same time it's incredibly hot in here. We also bought a new jack since the one on the front is broken, so I'm going to replace this one. But I'm going to do it later when the sun goes down. So yeah, let's get to it. There's no real plan. So uh, we're probably going to do whatever we feel like doing at the moment. Uh, let's go. We have those rusty bits from um, deep, fr deep fat fryers and one of the hot holds. And I want to try and get rid of the rust a little bit. So I'll be soaking them in vinegar for like 24 hours. We don't have a container big enough to fit those. So I think I'll just use a couple of um, trash bags and yeah hopefully they won't um, rip apart and hopefully it's gonna work a little bit so this is how it's looking and i don't think that the metal parts are fully submerged in vinegar so i don't know i'll wait 24 hours anyway and if the bottom um, metal pieces are in good condition like the rust is gone then I'll repeat the process for the for the other ones to remove the rust but we'll see yeah, fingers crossed I use the zip tie to just hold the vinegar in place and don't spread so the level is even, level of vinegar is even lower yeah we'll see I labeled the sink, all I have left is the water level stickers for hot water and sanitizer. Hot water level is not so important, I mean uh, soapy water, but the sanitizer one is. So the sanitizer we'll be using uh, uses one ounce of concentrate per gallon of water. So what I'm going to do is grab a gallon, empty gallon bottle, uh, figure out how to plug the sink because we don't have any plugs. Uh, plug it up, fill it up probably somewhere around this level and then we're gonna know exactly how many gallons we have and how much of the sanitizer to use and then I'm gonna apply the sticker. Okay, so I've got a makeshift plug for now. This is perfect size, I'm gonna put some cling film as well to give it a good seal. So it's not perfect but it should do just fine just for the testing and I'm gonna use exactly a gallon bottle and start filling it up. So I've put 11 gallons in. Seems like every half an inch is a gallon in this sink. I've marked the line just a bit higher, but I think I'm going to reduce it down to 10 gallons, um, just because if you put a lot of stuff in, it's gonna displace it. So yeah, I'm gonna put the sticker in a second, but now it's a good, as good time as ever to check if the plumbing is leaking so let's see okay we got a small leak here yeah just a bit of a leak here so I'm gonna take it apart and probably check the gasket okay everything drained pretty quickly and now for the wastewater outlet outside oh, I actually have to open 
everything is draining so it looks like we are good there's some nasty bits coming out so i'm gonna give it a quick rinse too Okay, all the stickers are on. Uh, something didn't feel right all day today and I couldn't quite tell what, what was it. And then I realized and I had to review the videos that we recorded today to confirm, but I lost my wedding ring yesterday at the beach. So it's probably somewhere in the ocean now. And I'm not happy about it. So here is my progress. I actually wouldn't even call it a progress. Um, I tried nail polish remover and it seems to be taking off everything including paint except the tape glue so yeah nothing else. I tried alcohol I tried um, lacquer, lacquer thinner and same thing happened so I really this this tape is really annoying me I would love to get it to have it gone but I don't know maybe we'll just sand it <laughs> but no I don't know I have no idea, but I'm gonna leave it for now because nothing is working, so yeah. So the cog doesn't really want to, want to stick to those uh, sheets. I'm going to have to buy silicone instead, which I probably should buy in the first place, but well. Put some extra rivets uh, and all the places that the ceiling was sagging slightly. To be honest, we still feel exhausted after the last day of cleaning, so I'm probably going to install the jack and call it a day in the trailer. We'll see. Okay, so that was pretty painless. It's changed. Works smooth. So, one less thing to worry about. So the racks have been soaking in vinegar for 26, maybe 27 hours now. Uh, so we're going to give it a check. So they are definitely looking um, better. These were in much better condition to begin with, so um, these still need some work. I, I feel like we might need to re repeat the process because it did take quite a lot of um, rust off, even though these weren't fully submerged in vinegar, so it did work anyway. I found the reduction for the gas, so I can hook the hot plate up and test it out. Got a bottle of silicone as well because caulk didn't work. I'm gonna have to air this place out at the moment. We have 97 degrees or 36 Celsius. It's hot. All the bigger gaps are done. Uh, I'm gonna go around with rivet gun again and seal a couple of them a bit more like those here uh, Right now I'm going to use the silicone and replace the one that fell off while I was cleaning the hood It's pretty dark in here, but it should be fine So the hood is sealed um, I'm gonna wait till it dries and then I can clean it up a bit more but at the moment I'm going to connect this one I've got this reduction to reduction to reduction um, I'm just gonna clean it up I've got some sealing tape or teflon tape uh, so yeah let's go This tank is almost empty and it was a really a challenge to get it up there so I don't even want to know how it's going to be with the full one uh, I hooked it up to test it off camera and 
this o-ring was bad so i replaced it for a new one because it was leaking so hopefully that's gonna do the trick okay let's see i'm guessing so i had a quick walk around made sure everything is switched off apart from the griddle and my fan going i didn't switch anything on i was just smelling for gas for the past 15 minutes and everything seems fine and check this out we got pilot lights on so let's see okay so now that it's running i'm going to I'm going to have to clean the top again, boil it out, scrub it out nicely, but just for the fun, we're going to cook an egg on top. Wow, now the season. <laughs> How did that happen? Hmm? <laughs> Make your scrambled eggs. <laughs> One egg, please. We're going to have to buy a griddle scrubber because there's few spots of rust here. It's grill cheese time. We pretty much did everything that we could so far. Now we're just going to have to look for more equipment, buy it and fill up the floor plan. But right now we're going to have breakfast making grilled cheese. Yes. Ham and cheese. Grilled ham and cheese. We'll see how good the toaster is because we have frozen bread, frozen ham. The butter is actually, I microwave the butter, so it's good. <laughs> we couldn't wait any longer, we are hungry. They don't look crispy, but they are. Ooh. Thanks for watching, guys. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you. This video wasn't as intense as the, as the first one. The hardest part is done, the cleaning. So now we're gonna be fixing small bits here and there and getting ready with the floor, floor plan and getting the appliances and all the small bits, so. We also trying to spend some time and test all the equipment out. Like the toaster today yeah just just to get a feel of it yeah, the toast doesn't look crispy but it really is and it's so hot leave a like if you enjoyed the video subscribe to our channel so you don't miss uh, any of the next parts coming up and we're going to see you in the next one bye thank bye. you